Chris here for Tenka Tech and welcome to the channel. And today's video is all about implementing the if statement with dimmable LED. So let's get started now. In today's video, we will use all that we learned until now to have some fun and doing some pretty cool things with LEDs. Be aware that you can also use motors and other sensors as well. So, if you are not sure what we talk about, you can see my previous video to learn about digital right that makes stuff turn on or off, as well as analog right, which allow us to make things happen from 0 to 5 volt, maybe in or out of the Arduino. We also learn what is and how to use the potentiometer. And we learn how to use LEDs. And finally, we also know about PWMs. So, when we compile this together, we can start doing something that look a little bit more like a project that actually does things that we might be able to use. For that, we want to create a dimmable LED that when a potentiometer is manipulated will allow us to turn an LED from off that will get brighter and brighter until it's fully lit and dim back off may we wish so but i am sorry as at this point there will be some matter involved luckily we learned a lot of this stuff in the earlier lessons and we can use that for the setup we are going to use the one we are familiar with and keep the same connection to the arduino like this it will be easier for you to follow this video or if you are not already a subscriber you can do it now gotcha <laughs> But our objective for this lesson is, unlike last week, to have an LED that will smoothly dim or brighten depending on the potentiometer position. We will still use our previous setup, but I will explain the coding. The reason to do it this way is to grasp the thinking and the math in order for us to create our own project, not just to replicate mine. This is to understand the fundamental process of the linear equation or remembering. And this is for those of you who want to know how and why as well. Therefore, we start and draw a graph. You can do it with me on a piece of paper if you want to. Starting by the Y axis, we will call it V2. Then we draw the X axis, we will call it V out. Okay, let's think about it first. When we read a value from the potentiometer, it's going to read a voltage between 0 to 5 volts. But it doesn't read a number 0 to 5. Instead, the number that is written onto the LED using the analog right, it's in between 0 to 255. We saw that in lesson number 6. But if you write that to the LED, it's not going to work because you are going to very quickly get to 255 value. But remember the potentiometer value or V out, it's 1023. So if we do it like this, then V2 will be pegged out very quickly. The whole thing is going to be messed up. All right. The best way to fill this graph is to start thinking of the axis X and Y and what are we measuring. The maximum electricity going into the LED okay, must be the same as when the potentiometer is at its maximum. Let's see where we put our first point. We have a number between 0 and 255 for the LED from off to on and we got 0 to 1023 uh, on the potentiometer as we learned it from lesson 10. You know, on the other hand, when we want the LED to be fully on, the LED value must be 255 on the graph here. And now, to the next point, the potentiometer with this full value here at 1023. It is now easy for us to plot where to join those two points here. Then we draw a line in between those two points, and this becomes our scale for the line. But to convert it, we need to scale this equation. And this line must be equal to V out, which goes between 0 to 1023 into V2, which goes from 0 to 255. Now that we have the slope of that line, we will call it M and start with M. It's equal at Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. What? I am not sure what you mean. Don't worry, I'll show you. M2 is equal at V2B here on the chart, it's 0, minus V2A here on the chart is 255. And then that is going to be over V out 2 here on the chart at 0, minus V out 1 here on the chart at 1023. All right. Do you see how it is easier to use the variable as it is not just x's and y's? Don't you think so? Anyway, now it is easier for us to calculate M. And we can do M is equal to V2B, which is 255, minus V2A, which is 0, over V out 2, which is 1023, 
minus the out one which is zero and you know what here we can remove those values and they are the same note that they won't always cancel each other unless like in our case our line intercept the origin at zero here and you need to know how to do this because sometimes you would actually have to put a value in there we are now left with the slope of the line and write m is 255 over 1023 do not forget here to multiply by the out I'm just going to leave it like this because it is now something we can do with our sketch and we can use this to program the Arduino. Excellent! But first, please allow me to apologize for the math things as it is important hey. to set a strong Hello. basis, to me at least. Hello. So, coming back over to our sketch, you can pause, may you need it. We use the same as last week anyway. We just have to change a few things, but you know what? Let's just send this to the Arduino, arrange the view here, like so, together with the circuit, as well as the serial monitor, and making sure to send this to the Arduino to test all that. No surprises here. Of course, this do not work as intended. There, as you can see, there is no fading brighter or dimmer according to the potentiometer position. It is an easy fix. Just a few things in the code and the circuit need adjusting. Starting to comment all those lines here and they are not necessary. Like so, of course, do not forget to update the 5 volt to 255 as we saw earlier. And you can remove or command those lines too, that's up to you. But the main reason is not working anyone and making sure to send this to the Arduino to test all that. Oh, that's a good thing. Like this, you know what's happened if you do not comment properly. I send this to the Arduino, but this is not all. There is a things to change here. You can see this do not work as intended, as we have one more thing to change. Really, you did not follow my video or you forgot maybe. Yeah, <laughs> it is an easy fix. And spoiler alert here, as this has to do with the Arduino pin that we attach the LED into. It is not, excuse me, who say that? Who? Huh? Who? Who? You behind the monitor? You? Ah, correct, sir. Yes, it is because the pin is not a PWM one. So let's adjust this. And well, of course, send this to the Arduino. And ta-da! Et voila! Okay, so as you can see, now it's working. Perfect. But I think we can do better, isn't it? With this out of the way, let's add two more LEDs that will lead up depending on the voltage. Pass forward, I will just select the whole thing. I will copy like so and paste the new code. And uh, basically what I did here, I added two LEDs. The two LEDs are the yellow one and the red one. You can read here. It's best if you pause here and you can read through. Don't forget to remove this one here. And basically what we did, it's for the green pin. If it's bigger than 0.5, then it will be on. But it must also be smaller than 85. This time for the yellow LED. If it's bigger than 85.1, we don't want them to overlap here. V2, but it must also be smaller than 170.5. All right, so if it's smaller than that, then it will be on. And for the red LED, if it's bigger than 171, but smaller than 255, then it will be on as well. And of course, all the other will be off. Now we will print this. The brightness is at, we print V2. And the potentiometer is, we print V out. Divided by 10 minus two, I will explain in a minute, but not to confuse you, we print V out and then we print the percentage turn. So it will be the pot is at, let's say, 10%. The divided by 10 here is to give us a percentage and the minus two, once it's at the maximum, this will give us 100, but the downside, it will give us minus two. When it's at zero, this, I didn't put it accurately to, you know, give us a balance, but this is what it is. Feel free to calculate it if you wish to. We send this to the Arduino now, like so. Yes, it works. Bring in the monitor, the serial monitor, sorry. And as you can see, that's what I said to you. Here is a minus two, but feel free to calculate it if you wish to. Now we can bring in the Arduino, the new one, like we see. We can look here at the LED, it turns on. Okay, bring it back a little bit. Here we can see is at 85. Tac. Yeah, there it is. Okay, 86. It works better at 86, but you can see why I put a gap here. And then if we increase some more, there we are, okay. 178, but as you can fluctuate, and there it is. It works as intended. 
Now, next week, I will show you how to simplify this. And also, you can imagine that if you have, let's say, a motor, I can close this. It can go slow, medium, and high. If you have a speaker, it's the same. It can maybe play a note here, here, or here. Based on that, that is it for today. Thank you for watching the video. And just to let you know, I started the Patreon where, well, if you want, you can support me. And again, if you enjoy it, you know what to do. You can do your YouTube things, like if you want to subscribe, you may as well. Or you can also press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. However, if you do not like this video, simply leave a comment down below and tell me why it's so. I will try to improve for you guys. Stay safe and bye now!